Hi, Tim here with Clive Coffee to share five tech tips for using your ECM Classica successfully. The first time you use your machine, you're going to run through a lot of water. You might notice the machine powers itself off at a certain point. All you need to do is refill your water reservoir. When you're refilling your water reservoir, you'll notice the magnetic sensor in place. That can come out if you pour the water too aggressively or if it just kind of pops out. Very simple to replace that. We have photos online that show exactly how that reassembles. The next tip that I want to share with you is about drink preparation. We suggest preparing your espresso first and your milk second. Espresso is set at a very specific temperature and we switch to steaming mode. You are aiming for a wider, about a 10 degree temperature window. So it's an easy target to hit. When you switch back to coffee mode, you are aiming for a more specific temperature. So you might have a little bit of extra time in the rebound. So our suggestion would be espresso first, milk steaming second. The third and very important tip is what I call active steaming. Think of your boiler the way you would a balloon filled with air. As that cools off, the balloon will shrink. Your boiler cannot shrink and so it pulls at any stress points, namely your steam wand. There's a gasket in there that can get pulled out of place and your steam wand will be stuck in an open position. So it's very important to remember active steaming only. Once you're done steaming, you go ahead and switch the boiler back into a coffee mode, refill that boiler and purge the steam. Our suggestion for switching back into coffee mode would be to use your brew switch rather than your pump switch. The reason being, when you open up that brew switch, you're gonna pull water through the line and you're gonna see it eventually coming out of the group head. At the same time, you'll be opening your steam wand and purging the steam out. As soon as you see water flowing freely from the group head and from the steam wand, you know that your boiler's filled and you can turn your machine off or pull another shot of espresso. Using just the pump, you may see some water or some air bubbles that remain in the line. To avoid that, we always suggest using the brew switch. Finally, I just want to share with you how to read and how to understand your PID. PID, proportional integral derivative. All that means is your temperatures are going to be specifically controlled down to one degree. There's a computer on board on your PID that communicates with the temperature probe in the boiler and the heating element in the boiler. That feedback loop provides a very specific temperature. As your boiler heats up, you're gonna see that feedback on the display. You're going to notice your orange lamp up on the top flashing as it heats that water up to your set point. There's a squiggly line next to that top lamp. That is your heating element indicator. You have a shot timer built into the PID display, which is useful for consistent recipes. You can find more information about the Classica on our website at clivecoffee.com.